Hey folks, <clears throat> uh, welcome to my channel. This is Cracker321. Boom. Uh, welcome back if you've been here before, and thanks for coming back. Um, I did a reaction to a news clip a few days ago about a 61-year-old woman up on the Grand Concourse and Fordham Road. She was 61, a mother who got shot by a stray bullet and died. I now got confirmation through WPIX Channel 11 News that arrests have been made. Oh, and guess what? They were gang members. So when I hear something like, oh, it was two um, crowds of people, give me a break. Two crowds of people, they were gang members. And basically, they don't care where the bullets fly, who they hurt. It's just over stupid, petty stuff. And a 61-year-old woman is now dead. And a family don't have their mom. And from what I saw in interviews, her son is completely distraught. And why wouldn't he be? So let's see what this clip has to say. It's titled, Arrest Made in Fatal Shooting of a 61-Year-Old Bystander. Good. I hope they throw the book at them. Play. Raquel Hampton is led out of the 46th precinct in the Bronx, followed by his brother Donald Johnson, who police say fired the fatal shot that killed 61-year-old Juan in Perdomo Monday evening. This is another example of pointless violence on the streets of our city. Criminals cannot act with impunity. Of course, it's Everyone pointless. Will be held accountable Senior for their citizens are not even safe to go to the grocery store. store. On East 188th Street near Grand Concourse, surveillance video wow. shows her diving for cover, but she was struck by a stray bullet. Her heartbroken son earlier this week. She went to the store and she got killed like that. Like, there is no sense. Police agents no sense at all. Store, Johnson and Raquel and an unidentified third person. And God bless her, she tried to run for cover, but she couldn't. Mr. Hampton and Johnson brandish a nine millimeter handgun, and as the three males flee towards 164 East 188th Street, Mr. Johnson fires his weapons five times. Our wow. innocent victim is struck in the back. Police say Hampton is a Bloods gang member. Both men have lengthy criminal records, and both were recently indicted and out on bail in separate cases involving gun charges. It is unknown what led up to Monday night. Unbelievable. What we know is you have... They were already indicted for other crimes and were released on bail. Which means if they were still in jail for the other crimes, they may... Have never been able to hurt this woman. And they've been Sad. charged with second degree murder, manslaughter, and criminal possession of a weapon. And police say their investigation is not over and we can expect more arrests in the days to come. We're live tonight in the Fordham Heights section of the Bronx. I'm Shirley Chan. Fordham Heights. Love the news. That's a disgrace. It really is. An innocent 61-year-old woman going to the grocery store. Fantastic. It's disgusting. It really is. And what gets me, they were both released on bail due to other criminal activity, including handguns. How did they get on bail when they should have been held? It's a shame. And, you know, once again, like I said, the poor woman tried to die for cover. Five bullets were let out of a 9mm. Where could she really go? Man, my condolences to her son and her family. It's a shame. And I've said it before. It's only going to get worse. I'm not sure what this mayor is doing, but he can't do it alone. 
there's no way. There's no way. I mean, he can go up on the podium. He can talk a great game. But it's not getting better. It's just not. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. I don't care what your race is. The job is not getting done. It's that simple. It's not. People are being hurt. Homelessness is still existing on the subways. Mindless violence. And for what? Well, that was my reaction, folks. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Definitely leave a comment if you want. This is Cracker321. Boom. You can follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram at Ron402513. I'm on Twitter forward slash crow with an E11700. I'm on Facebook forward slash Wade2712. And I'm on TikTok at Cracker321Boom. One word. Um, thanks to all the subscribers. Um, thanks for all the comments I've been getting. And I know I say this all the time, but I really do appreciate it. Um, it's hard to get my videos out there. Some of my videos are not promoted. I am writing a copyright strike, so that might be doing it too. And one other thing that um, I believe I don't say all the time. When you view a video and you're a subscriber, hit the bell icon, select always, so you always know when new material is released. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you are a subscriber, because some people have been unsubscribed. That's it for me. Take care. Have a great rest of your weekend. Stay safe, and I will see you soon. Peace.